Welcome to this tutorial on PSPP. This is the second in the series of tutorials. At the end of the session, the learner will be able to import data at PSPP and perform simple descriptive analysis on the data. So, the background of our study is we have taken a simple hypothetical case study with a sample size of 100 and some five questions have been asked to the faculty members on their opinions of using technology. The background factors are gender, education of teachers, age group of married teachers, marital status and subject domain and these are the independent variables. The dependent variables are the answers provided by the faculty members. The dependent variables are the background factors. Let's explore PSPP together. This is the first screen that you will encounter whenever you open up PSPP. So the first screen and you will find the commonly used options that are available in all desktop processing programs. So let's click file and import. We have to first import the data. So we let's say import data. The list of libraries that are available in the system are shown here. And I have saved the file student survey file on the desktop as a comma supported value file. So I click the desktop, go into the comma supported value file. I open the file. PSPP now counts the number of lines in the program and ask me whether I want to import all the files or first half 10 lines or 10% of the files. I now have the variables that are there in the file in the into PSPP. So the name, age, gender, uh, statement 1, statement 2, statement 3, statement 4, statement 5. These values are shown here. Let me just go inside. What I find is that PSPP says it doesn't know who, what the variables are and it recognizes these variables as variables. I need to make them PSPP understand that the, the variables are in the first row. So I click, go into second row, make, go back again and now you will see that the variables are recognized. The first row contains the variables. So if I click back, go back and move forward again, again you will see the variable 1, variable 2, variable 3. So let me do this properly. I want to make P PSP understand that these are the variables and then you will find that the variables are recognized into the proper proportion. PSP does a good job of recognizing all the values are numeric. I encoded all the values as numeric data. So PSP does a good job of understanding that and once I click that voila, I come up with the data. All the data that is there in the Excel file is shown into the window here. So this is the text window. Now all I want to do is simple set of steps, descriptive statistics. So I click descriptive statistics and count frequency. Here let me select gender first. Let me select gender. All kinds of parameters can be shown. I want to open up a wonderful bar chart and a pie chart. And I said, okay, let me click this file. PSP opens up the output as a separate file with the commands and code. The code is shown here. I now uh, have access to the count, the number of files that are shown. There are 100 files and the statistical data. Apart from that, I also have access to the charts. I have access to the charts, the pie chart and the bar chart that I requested. The pie, pie chart and the bar chart that I requested PSPP to do. I have this data. And this is a simple example of descriptive statistics. I can also print the file using my PDF writer, whatever I have and this can be shown here. So I can print the file using the PDF writer and the same window, output file window will be opened up in this PDF writer, PDF program. So it asks me where to save. I say, okay, some location where I want to save and then I move on. So what I have done so far is shown how descriptive statistics can be used. I can do the same thing for one more variable, descriptive statistics. And I can click one more variable. For example, I can click the, uh, I can click select one more variable. I am selecting the marital status variable. So for marital status, I just want the bar chart. I don't want the pie chart. For marital status, I click that. I click OK. PSPP appends the output in the existing window. It appends the output in the existing window and gives me a ratio of married is to unmarried the values that are of married is to unmarried and I have these values what I can also do 
is go to the data and verify them so for for example for gender it is in the first column so i can go to the data and verify them so i go up i click sort i select this column i click sort sort and ascending and i just count the number of rows you can see that the data that uh, that that i have got is for 55 and the data that is shown in PSVP is absolutely right. So similarly, I can do the same thing for the marital status also. Sim similarly, I can do the same thing for marital status also, 40 and 60. And let me go inside PSVP and do the same thing for the marital status as well. So this is an example of how descriptive statistics work. And simple descriptive statistics like bar charts are being used in programs and we will see those applications we can see how hypothesis can be proved using the bar charts and pie charts later on in other videos so you can see that we have verified the data so let's recap we have seen how to import data into PSVP and then perform some simple descriptive analysis of the data on PSVP the next few videos we'll explore this further thank you